Hello, good afternoon, and uh, welcome to our channel once again. So today, I want to show to you how you can submit your IRS tax return in Portugal. For those of you that are working in Portugal, so how you can submit your IRS tax return for work done for 2023. So the, the, the portal opened today for everyone to submit their tax, um, IRS tax return or tax declaration. So I am going to show to you how you can do it. So. Uh, in here, you can search for finance portal on Google. Preferably, I would suggest that you use Google Chrome so that you'll be able to change the language to English because, <clears throat> because um, the, the, the what is it called there is in Portuguese. So if your Portuguese is not very strong, I suggest that uh, you use um, you use the Google Chrome to be able to change it to uh, English. Now, uh, you search, you come to the search button, you search for IRS. And then you come, you come to the search button here, and then it comes out here, you click search, then being that uh, this is my first declaration, you see submit declaration, then you click on submit declaration, then here it will ask you to fill out the declaration in terms of how, if you want to fill it manually, if you have a, a ready statement or how you want to do it. So I, I want to obtain a pre-filled the best option for you is to obtain a pre-filled declaration since you are working for an employer an employer is uh, remitting some amount of money monthly to uh, your uh, to the tax department so it's better you go for obtain a pre-filled declaration okay now the year of the income is 2023 and uh, you put your NIF number here okay and then, yes, and if you want to do a joint uh, income taxation with your spouse or your married uh, individual, husband or wife, so you go for the option here and then you put, but if you don't, um, if you don't want to do a joint taxation with, um, you know, with your wife, you don't need to tick this button, but if you are single, you don't even need to bother yourself about this, so you just go on and click continue, okay? So that is that, and then you click on you click on fetch. So this option, yeah, is not important to you because uh, uh, I mean because it's it's a prefilled code by the finance department. This is just to show the year that you're submitting the IRS tax return, so which is 2023. And then here it will populate the NIF that you have previously entered, and in here as well. Uh, let's change it to English. Okay, and in here you will see that uh, it will ask you your my, uh, your you know civil status, which are you married, single, separated, divorced, you know, widow, whatever your case is. You go for the option here. So uh, my advice is that uh, you don't have to submit a joint taxation with your uh, uh, wife or your spouse, uh, but it's 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 uh, from you know from what I've gathered, I think it is uh, beneficial of advantage to you if you submit a joint taxation with your spouse, because if you want to, uh, if you want to get a, a loan from the bank for, um, for mortgage, to buy a car or stuff like that, it helps your chances to be able to uh, get such a loan. So I have already linked my, I mean, linked my wife, uh, um, what is it called, accounts with my own account. So which means I want to submit a joint taxation with my wife. So I'll go here for married. But if you are, if you are not married or you're single, you go for this option, okay? But you are separated or a widow, that is what will determine what you go for here. But I am married and I want to submit a joint taxation with my wife. So, and yes, you go for this option. If you check box O one here, which indicate whether you want to submit a joint taxation with your wife. So um, I want to submit with her this option here and then in here you uh you put your wife nif yes you put your wife nif in here so um so that is because i've already linked our own account with my own because stating that i want to submit a joint taxation with her so i've done that earlier so that uh, that's why it will be very easy or you know just to be able to, you know, uh, uh, provide you clarity. So uh, that is our only that I've just um, uh, put there. Then, I mean, you 
uh, you scroll down, all of these other options here are not important to you. So in here, so but uh, if you if you don't want to, uh, let me just quickly say here, if you don't want to submit a joint session with your wife, you put no here. You don't need to put a if here, okay? Don't need to put an if here. You come to household. Since you are not submitting a joint session with your wife, you have to put an if here. That is only for if you are married. If you are married and you don't want to submit a joint a joint a joint session with your wife, that is when you put an if here. But if you want to, you have to uh, indicate yes and put an if here, and then come in here. Then you don't bother yourself here again. So, but um, in this case, I mean, I'm sure you understand that now. So if you have dependent, okay, I have I have two dependents, you have to put the NIF here. If you have dependent, you have to state it because that will also amplify the, the, the chances of getting a very good uh, <clears throat> as we thought. So I put my two dependent NIF here, okay. And then I had the other one, this three, two, four, three, two, eight. Then you move forward. There is nothing else to you know do in here again. So ascendant collateral and host families. I don't think this will be of any importance to you. But if you if you think it is, you can you know you can review you can review them accordingly. Okay. Now you come to tax residency. If you are living in Portugal, you have to go for continent. Okay, but if you are not living in Portugal. Uh, you know, you have to select this option, put your NIF here, and uh, put your uh, country of residence here. So meaning if you are not living in Portugal, but you want your tax return to be uh, uh, to be to be uh, remitted to Portugal, you have to select the option here. Then when you're done there, all of these other options uh, are not important to you. But of course, you can go through them depending on your situation anyway. And then when you're done there, you go, you come to this place. Uh, I already have a, a pre-populated um, uh, IBAN, which I want my uh, all my tax return and every other income to be paid to. So uh, and then you, you click on confirm. Or you, even if you don't have, you have to put your IBAN here. Then you confirm that you want your IBAN to be associated to your um, finance account. Then you come here, nature of your declaration. Is this your first time of submitting your declaration or you are editing previously submitted declaration? You have to choose the option here. So this is my first. <clears throat> this is my first declaration. And then in here, you come to this place. This is of no importance to you, but... What, it, what this means is that uh, if you want your zero uh, about 0.5 percent of your uh, IRS declaration to be paid to any um, uh, agency of your choice, private institution, religious institution, or any uh, homeless body, this is where you put there. You put your NIF and then you select uh, which option you want them to remit to them. Then this place as well, special deadline is of no importance to you. Okay. Then uh, you can have a general idea of what uh, you can expect to receive as an uh, as an income or as a tax return from the government. So you can do a simulation. Okay. When you click on that option here, so for me, based on the fact that I'm married and I have dependent, so this is what I can expect to receive from the government as a task return for the year 2023. So <clears throat> when you're okay there, you can... So when you are done doing the simulation and uh, you have already done, um, I mean, all the necessary feeling of this session here, which has a face written on it, you can come to this annex here, especially if this is the first time of you filing your report or your IRS report in Portugal, you can come to this session here, which, of course, uh, because I'm doing a joint session with my wife, that's why you are seeing NIF tax, uh, NIF person A, NIF person B. Then on the section here, it will already pre-populate your information based on your employer remittance to the tax department. And then, and then uh, at the end of every uh, work year, the employer usually send uh, a tax declaration, which shows the total amount of earnings. The total amount that was remitted to the government and then tax return as an every other thing, it will show it to you. So if that is your case, if they send you that if it doesn't pre-populate pre by itself, you can come in here to submit it. Because if this is not filled properly, especially if it does not if it does not pre-populate, you will not be able to submit it. Okay. So 
Now, uh, this my own has already pre-populated, so there's nothing to do on this session again. So, and then you can uh, you can come in here and click on deliver, okay? And then uh, you can you know it's uh, uh, because my own is uh, showing double section, so I have to authenticate it from my from my NIF and I mean from my uh, signing details with the finance department. So I have to authenticate my wife own as well. Okay, so then you authenticate the submission. Good, and that is it. So we, I've just been able to, I've just successfully submitted the declarations for both myself and my wife. And you know, you'll be able to see some information in terms of uh, what was purchased, what was purchased, how your spending looks like over the year. That is what uh, this other information will look like for both you and your wife. That is if you know if you are submitting a joint transition with your family. So that is that about uh, submitting IRS declaration in Portugal. So this is Jack with the Adis channel. Don't forget to click on like and subscribe to this channel, okay? Bye-bye for now.